what you come to do But I sure came to live my life Can't nobody take my joy away I'm gonna always be alright I'm living my best life Ain't got no time to waste Time to waste Tomorrow's not promised So cherish every day in Spalding County investigating after a deadly shooting. It happened near the courthouse in the popular downtown area. Both Griffin police and Spalding County deputies were called out to the scene earlier today. We know one person was and another is at the hospital. Police say both people knew each other, but they are still investigating to find out what led to the shooting. Police say there is no threat to the public. All right, what's up with y'all? So look, man, I'm back again with another video. And look, before we move forward into this video, I do want to start this out the correct way with some positivity. I just want to tell everybody out there that I hope that you are having a good day today or you will have a good day today, just depending on when I post this video or when you see this video. But I'm pretty sure I'm posting this on Saturday in the evening. So, you know, I hope that y'all, you know, whatever, it don't matter. Let's get straight into this right here. I just want to see you some love, some peace and blessings and prosperous energy our way. And when I say this, I'm strictly talking to my supporters and to those who reciprocate the same energy back to me. Now, let's get into this situation at hand because this is a crazy crazy wacky ass story but before we do that i do want to say r.i.p to this young lady by the name of crystal evans that's what she goes by on facebook and things like that so i'm pretty sure that's what she want to be called but she was married to this crazy fucker by the name of tom mallory now this dude right here allegedly everything i'm saying in this video is allegedly from beginning to the end basically long story short she called him found out he was gay ultimately ended up wanting a divorce i'm pretty sure it was more things associated with their relationship besides that right there but you know a lot of the times when someone thinks you are a heterosexual male and they find out that you are bisexual they don't want to deal with you they want to move forward with their lives and they are entitled to do that because you didn't keep it real with them from the beginning <laughs> You're a savage, you fuck boy. I can tell you. 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 I now, I'm not finna sit here and wait on the news to come out with these videos and stuff like that. Sometimes, man, you know, when I already got most of the information, I'm gonna bring it straight to y'all. They're kind of keeping this under wraps because a lot of things aren't clear, but a lot of things are clear, you know, and uh, some of the things that are clear, we're gonna talk about that right now. But basically, long story short, they were in um, Griffin, Georgia, Spalding County, if I'm not mistaken, and they were by the courthouse. Ultimately, you know, he ended up shooting at her a couple of different times and he took her life. Now, he also tried to take himself out. He shot, he, you know, you feel, you feel, you know what I'm talking about, but he's still alive. Now, um, you know, she's been making, you know, posts consistently pertaining to him stalking her he would not leave her alone it's been dating back for months and months and months and months so what i'm going to do is at the end of this video i'm going to put majority of everything that i can find at the end so y'all going to do your own reading i'm not going to read all of that because i already finna have to read something else to y'all that's like a damn book that the damn sheriff done wrote because a lot of people are you know calling him a liar saying different things pertaining to him and stuff like that but i do want to say that that county did let her down because she's been making posts consistently and uh i read something else associated with this basically stating that he was able to get free on weekends or something like that um i don't know how true that is but they said that he was you know in trouble for stalking her and stuff like that and you know he was able to get free so that don't make no sense to me i feel like that when it's a situation pertaining to a stalker they need to go ahead and just do what they need to do with these people bro but i also want to say that you know take heed to your own signs like she was doing you know she was aware that this guy was bothering her and she actually made a post like a year ago basically saying that if something happened to her it was him who did it now i feel like that when it's that deep they need to take the proper precautions to go ahead and make sure that these people are safe. Either move his ass away or move her away and take care of her. We get so much money um, taken from us from taxes and different things like that. Why not go ahead and use those dollars to make sure that people are safe? A lot of the times we already know what it is. They don't be giving a damn. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, you know, a lot of posts, a lot of things that were saying that he was going to do this. She was scared for her life and stuff like that. She even got videos and pictures of him riding by the house and stuff like that. I'm going to try to put all of it at the end. So, you know, if you are looking for everything to be um, read out to you and stuff like that, that's not going to happen. I'm going to put everything at the end so y'all can read it for your own selves. But yes, I don't know about their 
a situation when it comes to kids and stuff like that because this situation is so fresh but what i will do is when more information comes out about this i'm going to bring it to y'all now y'all know i normally just bring all of the facts but it's so many different things happening back to back to back pertaining to the situation it's so much happening to the point where the sheriff has to make a long facebook post now in this situation i do feel like he's more so trying to clear his name versus trying to clear the situation up but what would you do if it was you and you're getting called a liar? You're saying this, you're saying that, and all the other type of stuff. So, you know, I can kind of understand that. But I want to say, man, you got to be careful with who you're dealing with. Make sure that you're paying attention to the signs. And there's a lot of people that are getting their lives taken back to back to back. Even me and one of my supporters last night was talking in the comment section about how men, I mean, not men, dudes are taking girls out at a rapid pace. But it's not just men. So I'm tired of people trying to spread that narrative. I did a video the other day about a wife who actually took her husband's life. So, you know, it's not just men. It's people these days that don't have the emotional intelligence to understand that they don't own people. People will do what they will do. And you can't control nothing. And once you get that in your system and you can understand it and digest it, you will be better off in life. Stop thinking that you can control everything and these people won't cheat on you. They won't do this and they won't do that. Stop living in la-la land. We are living in a lascivious world. It has a lot of lust and um you know people are weak by the flesh people don't have sexual discipline and certain things like this so when you know that you'll be better off in life but i'm gonna go ahead and read y'all what this damn sheriff done wrote because this weird ass fuck in my personal opinion he worried about the wrong things now you know i would want to clear my name though you know, for the and say I'm lying, but I'm going to try to make sure that I can understand what took place with this, which he kind of did, though. So I don't want to just put him all the way down and put him to the side because really he just doing his job. But I feel like they did let her down because she made so many damn, you know, posts and so many. She Look, they even he even stated that they were making um, reports and stuff. I feel like when y'all get so many reports after one. Y'all need to start taking shit seriously. But let's go ahead and read this damn post that he got. But I do want to read one of the last things that she did post on her page. Let me go find it real quick. Give me a couple of seconds. Y'all forgive me, man, because I'm trying to do all this right now as we speak. I didn't really get the, you know, I really never do rehearse nothing. But y'all already know what I'm trying to say. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I got y'all. Just hold up. One of the last things that she said was, dude, please leave me alone. It's over. Move on with your life, please, respectfully. Now, she's been doing this consistently, like literally consistently, over and over and over and over. And I feel like they let her down by not actually going after this fucker or containing this damn animal. Now, look, on August 3rd, she said... It's sad that I have to walk around terrified for my life and my children's. So, yes, they got kids. Well, she has kids. I don't know if it's his, though. She said, I know if something happens to me, please know who did it. This man has said numerous times that he was going to kill me. I am posting and trying to leave a paper trail. This man is extremely dangerous. I have plenty of people who have heard him say this, and he's told this too. Leave me alone. Now, you know... She's leaving this paper trail and things like that, but you already know that paper can't stop a killer. You feel me? You can say this and you can say that and you can try this and you can try that, but ultimately, if he gonna do it, he gonna do it. If he has some type of access to you, he's gonna do it. He actually shot at her through the side of her car, which is so lame to me. You know, you took you taking the mother out and stuff like that is just weird, bro. Like, what the hell is you on? Just go ahead and move forward with your life. You know, even if you do like Bucci, you like bars and stuff like that, that's on you, cuz. But don't be trying to take it out on nobody else, bro. But I'm going to go ahead and read you what the sheriff um, posted. Let me find it. Give me one second, y'all. I do feel like he do need to come out with a video or something like that. So he said, this is Sheriff Dix. I've tried to answer several questions on different posts. And each time I'm accused of being a liar, arguing with the family making my deputies out as a victim covering up or belittling what happened i've said i couldn't comment on it but with all that's going on i am for a fact the person that started the rumors that miss mallory asked for an escort has admitted that that was a lie clerks in the magistrate office were asked not a deputy and a deputy was never requested by anyone to escort her Video from the lobby shows as Miss Mallory walked through the lobby. She passed deputies and did not ask for assistance either. She walked out of the courthouse to her car that was parallel parked facing north of 6th Street and entered it. Mr. Mallory, who was in the second vehicle, traveled north of 6th Street with the traffic flow, stopped beside her car where she was sitting, fired multiple rounds through the passenger side window of her car, and the round struck her. There were deputies on the front of the courthouse 
and when they heard the shots they responded mr mallory by this time was driving off and turned east on solomon street Morth police unit got behind him and mr mallory refused to stop when he finally did stop he sh shot you know in the head but he still survived yes in the past we received multiple calls to the mallory's residence both claimed that the other started the fights on occasions where witnesses were present and interviewed by deputies they said they didn't see anything or said it didn't happen like it was described by either mr or miss mallory on other occasions it was her words against his or his words against hers with no marks on either except old bruises or no marks at all on one occasion when furniture and other items were damaged both agreed that the fight was mutual and they both caused damage now listen with all of this happening why the hell they didn't separate them as fast as possible that don't make no sense to me so they said they both caused damage observed by deputies Okay, it says, let me go down a little bit more. Shit, it's so much to read. God damn, cool. Okay, it says, there was information given about services available to them to help and counseling. Under Georgia's family violence law, it says that the primary aggressor shall be arrested. If the witnesses didn't see anything, say that what they saw was not what was described by either party. Both parties say they both fought mutually. All marks or bruises appear to be old and there was no physical evidence found. No arrest can be made. There were times where she claimed he hit her or pulled a gun on her. There were times where he said she got angry and hit him and shot at him. This was by all definitions a toxic relationship. Let me scroll down a little bit more shit. In these situations where no one can be determined to be the primary aggressor, both parties are given information about contacting a magistrate judge on their own to see if the judge after a hearing will issue a warrant. On one occasion, Mr. Mallory was in fact arrested by deputies but posted bond. We are tracking down who posted his bond. He was at the courthouse just as she was for their hearing from what we can find the only people that were at their hearing were the mallory's their attorneys the judge and a friend of miss mallory's who is the same person that started the lie about asking a deputy for an escort they are the only ones who know for a fact what was said and what happened i cannot speak about a judge's decision or orders no one is picking one over the other or believing one over the other no one is blaming miss mallory for what happened to her we have to take facts and evidence and weigh them against the law in order to act this is a horrible thing that happened and other people are emotionally angry about it miss mallory's family believes she did no wrong and he was the bad guy. Mr. Mallory's family believes he did no wrong and she was the bad guy. Everyone else picks a side to stand with. Deputies don't have the option to arrest based on who has the most followers. That's not how it works. Do improvements need to be made to the laws? Yes, they do. Maybe it wasn't a deputy or an agency that failed. Maybe it was the law itself. By the way, the deputies that allegedly refused to escort her or the same ones who removed her from the car tried to control the bleeding and tried to save her life now like i said before you know with him saying what he was saying it kind of basically just seems like he was just trying to cover himself in the in the department which is understandable to a certain extent but it's certain things that were said that kind of makes you question like damn what are you on cuz because you're talking about it doesn't matter how many followers she has or whatever the case may be because right now she is growing a large following and stuff like that but ultimately y'all are feeling to realize that a guy took a woman's life that's what trumps everything y'all gotta understand and realize that this situation right here could have been avoided if y'all would have took the proper steps to make certain things happen now i don't know how it is in georgia but you can literally just make a call saying somebody did something to you and they're gonna arrest your ass i know too too many people who don't want to jail behind just somebody making a false accusation 
information. So, yes, it's just different in different places. But I do want to say RP to her. I will be bringing y'all more facts, updates, and things like that as they are released. But as of now, I have to bring y'all what's out there because I see a lot of people trying to believe false narratives and things like that. And I hate for my people to be out there looking and believing everything that's being said. And this is what actually is going on right here. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything. I appreciate each and every one of y'all who made it to the end of this video. Other than that, I will holler at y'all later on another video. But be careful who you're dealing with. Pay attention to the signs. When things get toxic, get your ass up out of there. Move forward with your life. These people are not deserving of you, or your space, your energy, or nothing that's associated with you. I love all of y'all out there, man. I hope everything is okay with y'all. And I'm only talking to my supporters now. I ain't no friendly, lovey, dovey ass dude, but I rock with my supporters who rock with me. Y'all tell me I love me damn near every day. I'm sending it right back to y'all. Other than that, I'll holler at y'all later. Hi.